Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Seaborne experts, and today I have the great pleasure of being on board the beautiful Seaborne Quest. This is one of the yachts of Seaborne. It's an ultra luxury experience, incredible amount of inclusions, world-class cuisine, but it's the amazing service here on board that really sets Seaborne apart. You're gonna have delicious meals, wonderful lectures and entertainment as this ship sails around the world. Now I'm gonna take you through all the public spaces here today, and keep in mind we have the suites on our channel as well for you to check out, but most importantly, when you're ready to book this incredible ship or any of the yachts of Seaborne, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line and we know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an amazing value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now I've started up here on deck 10. There's a wonderful seating area and sun deck so you can get shade or step out into the sun and get some incredible views and fresh ocean air. As you step down one deck, you're gonna be down on deck nine, and that's really the other sun deck. So you see the loungers extend all the way around on both sides here, and they overlook the pool down below. There's more space in the shade. There's also a bar right below me, but down on the pool deck, you're gonna see a nice size pool. You've got two extra comfy hot tubs down there. You've got the patio bar and the patio restaurant. Now this is great because you have seating in the shade, you've got loungers in the shade, tables and chairs, you can take advantage of that wonderful bar service, or of course, you can grab a spot in the sun and enjoy some rays. Now I'm down on the pool deck, you've got more views of the pool, the hot tubs, and all the lounge chairs, and you can see just to the side they have the tables and chairs. So set all around this area, you're going to find the seating for the patio grill. Now, during lunchtime, usually late in the morning until early in the evening, they're gonna have delicious grill style options for you, your burgers and hot dogs. They'll also elevate those as well with different seafood and land-based dishes along with vegetarian options. But later in the evening, it turns into earth and ocean. This is a unique concept for Seaborn where they have really delicious upgraded and unique dining options. So this complements the restaurant, the colonnade, another great place to eat that world-class cuisine on board. So if you wanna have a nice, casual, relaxing dining experience al fresco under the stars, look no further than the patio grill. All the way forward at the top of the ship, you're gonna find the retreat. This is a sun deck area. You can see all the double sun deck loungers here, extra comfy with cocktail tables on either side. They will provide bar service up here for you. But if you love a little fun in the sun, some relaxation, catch the rays, read a book, listen to some music, this is a phenomenal spot. Just after the retreat, you're gonna find this sports deck area. Now this ship visits some of the best golf courses on the entire planet. Of course, you can play golf there. And you can keep up on your game right here with the putting green and the range net just behind. They also have shuffleboard. You can compete with your fellow passengers. Let's see if I've got anything going for me today. Yeah, looks like I got the direction, but not quite the speed there. Now we're at the spa, and of course, just like everything on Seaborn, this is also world-class, some of the best therapists on the planet. So you're gonna find your perfect massages, they have facials, wraps, all your favorite treatments here, and of course, it is world-class. Now we've started off right here at the entry, the reception. You always wanna stop by on boarding day. We recommend that you book your massages early. Keep in mind that they do fill up quicker on sea days than on port days, but they can go through all the details for you, guide you through picking the perfect choice for you. Now we're gonna start off with the full service salon. Let's head through. Now we just stepped inside. You see they have several different hair stations here. Of course you can get a revolutionary new hairstyle or just get done up to head out and have an amazing night here on board. They also have a gents barber shop set up here. You can get a shave, a facial, of course. You can also get a haircut. They'll take great care. And a lot of our guests spend a long time here on board with the extended voyages, so it's just like home. You see all the products from Kerasys from Paris, they only work with the best, so you can take advantage of those or purchase if you'd like and bring them home with you duty free. Over here you've got the manicure stations on the far side, you have the pedicure stations as well. I love that they have the massage chairs and a basin even big enough for my size 15 feet. Once again, if you want a salon style treatment, make sure you book early and get the exact one you're looking for. In the spa, you'll find a gents and ladies changing room. Now here's what it looks like. Right there, you've got a changing area. Of course, you can sit and get ready. You've got a restroom tucked behind. Lockers here, so you can drop your items off whether you're using the fitness center or the spa. A nice little lounge style seat here. You've got a mini fridge that's stocked down below. 
right around the corner, you'll find a rainfall shower. And I love that they have a finished sauna that is complimentary. So once again, it's separate for the gents and the ladies, but a really nice included option. Now your spa journey will start with a visit to the relaxation room. They're gonna give you a little bit of paperwork so your therapist can get to know you, the things you like and don't like, so you can get that perfect treatment for you. It's also that place to get in the Zen mindset. They'll have different infused waters and juices and teas where you can sit, relax before and after your treatment. Now we're inside one of the treatment rooms here. Of course, they have a wide variety of massages to choose from. My personal favorite is the Aromatherapy Hot Stone Massage. I find it very relaxing, but after a longer flight, maybe I'm joining the ship in Europe or Asia or somewhere around the world, maybe having a deep tissue massage is a really great fit. Now, in addition to all of that, they have different styles of Medispa treatments. They have acupuncture. I love that because I take advantage of it at home, had some back issues for quite some while, and it works great for pain management. Now, as you can see, they do all kinds of wraps. They do different styles of treatments. Just behind me, you've got a shower in here as well. So a world-class spa here on board with plenty to choose from. If you love a spa experience and you wanna upgrade yours here on board, make sure that you check out the Serene area. So this is a thermal suite style upgrade option. Comes at a very reasonable cost. You can purchase a day pass or for the entire cruise. And if you purchase it as a couple, you get an even higher discount. So this is an area to, well, be serene and relaxed. I love these heated loungers that wrap all the way around. I've had back issues for quite some time to sit here after a shore excursion. It really does help me. And of course, on a sea day, it's a wonderful place to lounge. You've got those wrapped all the way around the back and you also have two of these meditation beds. Very, very relaxing. And then you have several chairs with ottomans. And then just outside, you're also gonna have the large extra padded loungers. Once again, this is a phenomenal spot to stop by and enjoy if you want a little peace and relaxation. But there's more than that here. Let's head around the corner and I'll show you. Just through the doors here, you're gonna find the Aroma Steam Bath and the Herbal Bath. So over to the side, this is the Herbal Bath where you've got several different styles of herbs that are being heated and it's kind of a sauna style experience, not as much moisture. On the other side, you have the opposite. That is the Steam Bath. So you get those wonderful aromas in there as well, really opens up all the senses. And then of course that extra humidity is great for detoxification. Over here, you're gonna have the experience shower. So you've got the rainfall shower head up above. It also does the cold fog and it does the tropical rain. So you can kind of go back and forth between them. Of course, you can utilize all the different treatments and create your own circuit. For a ship of this size, there's a really nice size fitness center. You've got aerobic equipment that lines all the windows. You've got treadmills here. There's an elliptical on the far side. You've got stair steppers, several different styles of bikes. You've got the hand bike rowing machine, and then also on the far side, you're gonna have the dumbbells and the free weights. All along the wall here, you've got circuit style equipment. So of course you can work every single muscle in your body. I know for me, I always aspire to work out a little more when I'm at home, and I actually tend to do it more when I'm on a cruise. Now to complement the fitness center, you've got this entire wall of Kinesis machines. I love that because they're high tech, high quality. You can use all the different pulleys to literally work every bit of your body. They even have a screen there where they can do the demonstrations for you. You've got different styles of medicine balls, balance balls. I love that they have the foam rollers. I always come use them, especially after a nice long flight to roll myself out. So several different styles of aerobic equipment. Of course, they also do personal training sessions. They'll do yoga, different things like that as well. Not just in here, but around the ship. They've got yoga mats to take advantage of. And then they also have the smaller dumbbells. This spot is the colonnade. It's the casual dining area here on board. They do have buffet style dining for breakfast and lunch, but of course this is Seabourn and to complement it, they also have a menu there. I know every time I leave, I dream of those extra fluffy pancakes. They're delicious. They have all your favorites for breakfast. And then for lunch, of course you can get a steak made to order, the delicious burger, all from that prime quality beef. So you can take exactly what you want from the buffet and then add on your upgraded items. Now for dinner each day, this is a seated a la carte restaurant, but very casual. You have the restaurant as well to complement it, but if you're looking for something more fast and casual, this is the spot for you. Now there's quite a bit of dining in here, so you're gonna find booth style seats all the way along the side here. You've got tables for two, four, and larger groups. And then you also have wonderful outdoor dining that wraps all the way around the side and the aft. My favorite place to dine on the entire ship is out on the aft terrace. 
Now, one of my favorite types of cuisine in the world is Mediterranean, and that's what Solis is. It's a specialty restaurant here on board, and it is Mediterranean inspired. It does have a bit of a rotational menu, but all of it is delicious. You can see behind me, they have that open kitchen concept. I love that when you walk in, you get those intoxicating and wonderful smells, and you know you're gonna have a world-class meal. Now you've got different styles of seating with booths on either side here. You've got tables for two and four by the window. You've got more booths lining all along the far side and continuing through the restaurant. You've got a wonderful wine bar here set up. They have quite a few choices for you to choose from. And of course, the sommeliers can help partner the perfect pairing for you. So as we continue through, once again, it's delicious Mediterranean inspired food. My personal favorite is that Florentine steak. Well, it's for two people or one of me, you decide. Make sure you do make the reservations because you do need to have to reserve this space ahead of time. But you're gonna love the meal, the service, and the entire experience. Set all the way forward on deck 10, you're gonna find the observation bar. Now there's quite a bit of space to spread out here. They've got seating areas for two along the windows. They've got larger sofa style seating here, and they also have the bar right in the middle. You can sit right there as well. On the far side, they've got a station where they'll have some canapes in the evening, of course provide bar service. But what this is really about is taking advantage of the incredible views as you sail around the world. Now the views here are exceptional. The windows wrap 270 degrees all the way around. In fact, my wife likes to use this space for sewing because you get so much wonderful natural light. They'll use this space for several different activities, but really it's a lounge, You've got the piano over there. You can listen to some wonderful music, especially in the evening. It's great for pre or post dinner cocktails. Now, in addition to the wonderful observation space inside, they also have a great observation deck outside as well. So they'll be out there, especially the expedition team, depending on where you're gonna be visiting. They'll tell you about what you're seeing. You can ask lots of questions and really take advantage of that learning experience along with the stunning views. Welcome to Seaborn Square. This is like a piazza in an Italian city. It's where everybody gathers and there's quite a few services here to take advantage of. At the anchor is my favorite, it's the coffee shop. So they have delicious coffees, whether you want a cappuccino, a latte, an Americano, espresso, they've got all those for you. And they also have several drink upgrades with it. Of course, being Seaborn, you can have them add a little Bailey's, Kahlua, or all of the above. And over here, you're gonna have really nice upgraded bakery items. They're absolutely delicious. And the problem is every time you walk by, you gotta have one, right? I think that's the requirement. So I've had quite a few. Over here, you have some delicious homemade gelatos. They also have sorbet. They always have a non-dairy option there for you. And my daughter's favorite on board our last cruise was the hot chocolate. They make it with real chocolate chips and it's absolutely delicious. Now, this is just one example of the world-class service that you're gonna get here on board. You've got a full library here in Seaborn Square. So it's a curated library and I love that because so much is going digital in our world today. Personally, some of the best books I've ever read, I found on board a cruise ship as we were doing a longer cruise. Now you've got quite a bit of seating area here. So you've got the sofas and the chairs. As I continue along, you've got sofas and chairs lining all along the windows and in the aft of the ship as well. Here you've got internet station. So of course you can bring your own device. You do have included internet. You can choose to upgrade that to streaming or if you're in one of the very top suites, that's gonna be included for you. So you've got more seating areas here, more of the library. And as we wrap around, you've got another internet station on the far side. You've got more sofas, chairs. Of course you can sit here and take advantage of those incredible aft views or you can even grab your coffee, step outside and enjoy that fresh ocean air as you sail around the world. Now, right here in the middle is the guest services desk. So they can answer everything about your room, money. It's kind of like the front desk of a hotel. They're gonna have you covered with all of those details. And I love that it's a nice intimate setting where you can sit, have a conversation, and they're gonna take great care of you. Now, as we continue through the space here, you're gonna find a large puzzle over there. They always seem to have one going. I know my wife and I have really enjoyed that. You've got a couple recliners tucked over there in the corner, more chairs looking out the aft of the ship, and then tucked all the way on the far side, you're gonna find the future cruise desk. Now, you always wanna book your next Seaborn cruise while you're on board. They're gonna take great care of you. And as your advisor, if we booked your cruise, it's gonna come right to us. Now, if you didn't book your first cruise with us, just let us know before you go. We'll explain how to get our name added on so we can take phenomenal care of you throughout the entire experience. Now, so much of a Seaborn cruise is visiting exotic destinations all around the world. So you've got the shore excursions desk here. And of course, you want to pre-book your excursions because they can and will fill up. But they're here and happy to explain any details to you. They can change out excursions, of course, if you'd like, but always pre-book so you're not disappointed when you arrive on board. 
You're also gonna have the Seaborn shop. This is where you can stock up on all your favorite Seaborn logo wear. They have other clothing items. They also have watches, lots of great upgrades, and you can take advantage of the duty-free prices. Now we're just aft of Seaborn Square. I love this seating area out here. You're gonna have tables and chairs on either side. You can grab a snack, a coffee, and bring it out. Or you've got this comfortable seating area here and two more on either side. We've got some heaters out here to keep you warm, but for me, I always love the aft of the ship. This is that perfect place to grab a cup of joe and take advantage of the incredible views as we sail away in just a few moments. Now, one of the unique features of this ship is that it can truly sail to all seven continents. It has a marina all the way down below that will drop down. You can utilize the different styles of water sports from there. They also have Zodiacs in different parts of the world. In fact, you can see just behind me, they added on a few more Zodiacs and these additional crane arms. This ship can truly do it all. Now there's a large card room here on board. It's used for several different things. Of course, if you're hosting a group on board, just let us know. We'd love to put it together for you. We've actually been doing meetings and incentives for over 40 years at Har Travel. This is just one of the many spaces we can use for your group. But you can imagine, especially on the longer cruises, they have some fierce bridge battles in here, all kinds of different card games. They have different styles of board games as well, just around the corner there. And then of course, they also have a library in here. So once again, a very expansive space. You've got AV set up with the TV here. You've got AV on the other side as well. One of my wife's favorite boutiques here on board is the collection, and I have to say, it is quite a collection of upgraded jewelry. If you wanna spoil your spouse, this is the place to do it, and of course, you can take advantage of the duty-free prices. They have all kinds of different options, from beautiful watches to different styles of jewelry, bracelets, necklaces. If you'd like it, they've got it here. Now, keep in mind, there's world-class shopping with Seaborn in the destinations you visit. This complements that as well. Welcome to the club. It's a fantastic lounge here on board where you can enjoy entertainment, wonderful drinks, and even some fabulous dining options. Now you can see it's quite a large space. You've got seating all the way around the dance floor here. You've got small chairs and sofas. As you wrap all the way around, you've got more intimate seating areas and then large wraparound sofas as well. Now this at its heart is an entertainment venue. You've got a full stand over there. It's that perfect place for pre-dinner or post-dinner enjoyment. And then you also have sushi in the club. I absolutely love that. On my last Seaborn cruise, I came here, I think just about every single day, had pre-dinner sushi. In some cases I had post-dinner sushi. It was absolutely delicious. You've got the full bar set up there. The bartenders will be taking great care of everyone in the space. And one of the unique things about the club here is it actually extends out to the aft. So there's a lot of space out there as well. We'll take you out there in just a moment. After the club, you're gonna find the second pool deck. This is my favorite pool deck because you get those incredible views out the aft of the ship. There's quite a bit of seating out here. You've got day beds on either side. You've got large sofas, love seats, loungers that are in the shade, and loungers right here in the aft where you can take advantage of the sun and those beautiful aft facing views. There's two comfy hot tubs here. You're also gonna find a pool. So this is the second major pool here on board. Now you can also access this from the sides. It does wrap all the way around, but it's a really nice comfy aft seating area where you can sit, relax, and enjoy. Set just forward of the club, you'll find the casino here on board. If you like to gamble on vacation, it's great that they have this here on board. So you're gonna find that you have several different styles of digital slot machines. You got the old school that I love that you pull down and you can use the handle. And then you also have Kino and digital poker in the corner. On this side, you're gonna find a roulette table. You have blackjack and three card poker. So not a massive casino, but if you love to gamble on vacation, it's the perfect option for you. The main dining venue here on board is the restaurant. This is where you're gonna find delicious Michelin inspired cuisine. You can have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now it's all a la carte, of course it's Michelin inspired, so you're gonna have the finest quality ingredients and delicious options from the chef. They have a diverse offering, so they have your favorites that are available every day, and then they'll also have a rotational menu in addition. You'll see tables for two, four, larger tables for up to 10. You've got tables along the window there for two, four, and larger as well. It wraps around to the other side, and I love that they have the high ceiling here to give that extra light. Once again, if you want that more formal style, sit down, traditional meal, this is where you're gonna find it. This space is the main theater here on board. You'll see it's all stadium style seating. It kind of goes up as you go 
extra comfy overstuffed furniture. So you've got the large sofas here, the single chairs, and then up behind me, you see that you've got the full AV setup. Now in here, they're gonna do different styles of entertainment. They'll do shows, bring on guest entertainers. Sometimes the cruise directors even entertain as well. And then they'll also utilize it for lectures. So you can learn about the incredible destinations that you're visiting. Seabourn has some of the best on the planet. You got two large TVs on either side, the full stage. Once again, this is a multi-use space where you can learn and enjoy incredible entertainment. There's several different conference spaces here on board. There's actually three in a row. They can open up those doors to really expand it, but you can have an executive style meeting here, classroom style. They can set it up any way you like. But most importantly, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel before you plan your group event. We can put it all together for you, take care of the details, so you just worry about being on board, enjoying and hosting with your group. Now there's a small laundrette on board if you wanna do your own laundry. You can see those here behind me. It is included in the fare. You've got a couple ironing boards down here and you also have a steamer. Keep in mind you can't bring things on board that have a heating element for safety, so you can come down and use these anytime you'd like. In addition, you can also send your clothes out if you want them to do those for you. You're gonna find hotel style prices for wash and dry cleaning. All the way forward on deck six, you're gonna find the Whirlpool and Sun Deck. This is also a great observation spot as well. So of course, if you wanna sit in the hot tub, take advantage of those incredible views out the front, it's perfect for that. But they'll also set up the loungers here in a bit as we sail away. Or if you're visiting a scenic part of our world, they'll utilize this space so that you can do some incredible sightseeing. Now there's quite a bit of space here to spread out. That's that theme that you're gonna find all around this beautiful ship. I'm sure you can see why we love the Seabourn Quest, but I have to say, even though it's a beautiful, intimate style yacht, for me, it's the people here on board and the service that really takes it to the next level. They're here to provide Seabourn moments, whether it's caviar out here viewing something incredible, or it's one of those moments in your staterooms where your steward does something special for you. There's so many ways that they can deliver that incredible Seabourn service, the delicious food, all the high quality inclusions, and when you're ready to take advantage of it, make Make sure you do it with hard travel. We know these spaces inside and out. We have an incredible relationship with Seabourn and we know we can help craft your perfect luxury cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an amazing value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.